All right, and welcome back, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily beat the main quest in Mauer to Toten. This Easter egg is pretty fun, and in my opinion, it's one of the better Easter eggs in this game, and it's not too hard on top of all that. Now, for my class setup recommendation, I'm going to be spawning in with the E tool and Frenzy Guard. E tool just because it's pretty much the best spawning in weapon on any map, and Frenzy Guard because it helps you out a lot, especially if you're running solo. This Easter egg can be done both solo and co-op. The steps are the same. Either way you do it, keep in mind it is going to be easier with multiple players. And if you don't have anyone to play with, we're going to have our Discord linked below. We've got about 9,000 members in the server, and there's always people looking to do Easter eggs for any of the maps. So if you're looking for a group of people to play with, make sure to join the Discord, and you'll probably find a few helpful people who to help you out with. Now, once you've loaded in game, my recommendation is just to spend the first five rounds building up points. Don't open any doors. Don't do anything. Because once you start opening the map, the zombies are going to spread out and it's going to take you longer to go through the rounds. And it takes you about five rounds to have enough points to go all the way from here to open up Pack-A-Punch and Power. While I'm currently doing that, if you're new here and would like to sub, I would greatly appreciate it. We're going to have tons of more guides from Mauer Toten and a bunch of other testing videos like that. And on top of that, I got to give a huge thanks to everyone who's going to like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety. Those three things help me and my channel out massively. But now that we're on round five, what we're going to do is start opening the map and heading towards power. If you don't know how to turn power on this map, it's very simple. All you want to do is follow the waypoints. What it's going to have you do is go to a power switch, flip the power switch, kill one Tempest, pick up the part, kill a second Tempest, Place both fuses and then flip the switch again. Now that we have power on, it's very important that we get the wonder weapon for this Easter egg because a lot of the steps require it. I think the single easiest way to get it is doing trials. So I start trials as soon as possible when I'm playing this. There's also a way to get the wonder weapon for free by doing an Easter egg, but I feel like it takes a lot longer and is way more inconvenient than just doing the trial a few times, getting a legendary trial, redeeming it, and more than likely ending up getting the wonder weapon. That's why I start the trials right away. That way I can just kind of do trials in the background while we're doing the other steps to kind of work towards getting that wonder weapon. While we're at the Pack-A-Punch area, we can go ahead and start digging up these little dirt piles to get the microwave disc needed to upgrade Klaus. So all you want to do, kind of go in the mud here, stay out of the spotlight, digging all these up until you get a golden disc. Oh, and there we go. That's what it looks like. Once you grab it, you'll be able to see it on the menu here. And while you're at Pack-A-Punch, you're also going to want to go to the Pack-A-Punch machine and put Brain Rot on your weapon because we're going to need this to get a part for Klaus. Now for the next step, we're going to go ahead and get the hands for Klaus. A lot of people have a hard time finding this area. So from spawn, what you want to do is take this zip line down here. And this is a step you're going to need Brain Rot for. So don't do this step until after you have Brain Rot. We're going to walk through here to this room and we're going to turn a zombie in this room. All right, there we go. Once you've brain rotted a zombie in here, he's going to start breaking down this door. Be careful, though. This is a part where a lot of people go down because you're trying to wait for the zombie to open the door and the zombies just kind of flood in. Once in here, you're going to collect the robotic hands and this is going to be another part needed for Klaus. And for the next step, you're going to have to wait till wave 10 when we get our first Panzer. So this is the perfect time to kind of do trials, maybe hit the box or whatever you want to do to try to get the wonder weapon while waiting for wave 10. Oh, here we go. Wave 10. There's the Panzer. So now we just need to go ahead and kill him and he's going to drop the next part we need. Oh, there we go. And this is the battery and the last part needed for Klaus right here. And on top of that, let's go ahead and claim our reward. And just like that, we got the Wonder Weapon. I think there's about an 80 to 90% chance of getting the Wonder Weapon. Probably eight or nine times I've done it so far. About every single time it's dropped this Wonder Weapon right here. Now that we have all the parts needed to build Klaus, we're going to head back downstairs, build him, and do a few things once we have him built. All right, go ahead, put the parts into him. And we're going to have him follow us to this location underground. Just kind of walk the direction I'm walking because a lot of people seem to get really lost when they're down here. And once we're in this room right here in sewer access, you're going to call in Klaus and have him go right in front of this door right here. And then he's going to start breaking down the door. Come on. Come on, Klaus. There we go. Yep. And once you do that, all he's going to do is he's just going to punch it once and the entire brick wall is going to explode. For the next step, you do have to have the Wonder Weapon, and you need to have the laser version of the Cerberus. When you have the Wonder Weapon, you kill zombies. They're going to drop these little mods on the ground, and one of the mods you get is going to give you this version. Once you have it, all you want to do is spray at the wall, and it is going to open a secret passageway, opening a completely new area of the map. And once you're down here, you're going to see two little things protected in these red orbs. What we're going to have to do is just kind of kill zombies and wait down in these areas until these orbs disappear. Oh, and there we go. Once the orbs disappear, you're going to want to interact with this table and pick all three of these canisters up. And then using the Wonder Weapon, you're going to want to shoot this machine here. It doesn't matter which version of the Wonder Weapon. Any of them will work. And then you're going to grab this Essence Lure right here. 
Now, while doing all the steps we're about to do, I recommend continuously going back to Klaus and keep buying him because for a future step, we're going to need to have him upgraded and you've got to get a certain amount of kills with him before you get it upgraded. So if you're not constantly calling him in, letting him get kills, you're going to kind of struggle and have extra time to wait once we get to a future step. So for everything we're about to do is keep going back to him. Go to this little yellow box. There's multiple around the map. Press F, paying the 2000 points. That way he's continuously getting kills while you're doing this. For the next step, we gotta fill up the three canisters we just grabbed. To do that, you're gonna find three little green machines glowing around the map. I'm gonna show you the spawn locations in just a moment. What you wanna do is place the empty canister in these things. From there, you wanna use the little device that we picked up, throw it around the machine, and from that, you're gonna have three Tempest spawn in. Once you kill the Tempest, the souls are actually gonna go into this device, kinda make sure they're semi-close to the machine. Like, even right there was close enough for that to get us all. And we got a Panzer here. I'm trying to record something. If you could just kind of chill for a second. Kill these two more. Both these souls are going to go in here. If you're playing solo, all you need to do is get three souls. If you're playing co-op, it seems to be that you need six total souls. So you have to get two different players to grab one of the devices and throw it near the machine. Once it's charged, you're going to head over to it, pick it up. And now you're going to kind of walk slowly back to the room that we originally grabbed the canisters. Make sure not to slide or anything like that or you'll accidentally drop the canister, which you don't want to do because there's no little notification around for it on the map. So you might kind of lose it and have to go around the map searching for it, which we did multiple times. During this step, though, you kind of want to be prepared because you're going to have a lot of enemies charging you, a lot of different bosses. You're going to have mimics, you're going to have manglers, you're going to have the little fast guys, all of those things trying to kill you for the entire duration. But if you look at your special, you're going to have the canister like you, well, we went down, like you would have in Outbreak. And you're going to place the canister right here on this pedestal where we originally grabbed it. You're going to have to do this step a total of three different times at three different areas. And they kind of spawn in different locations each game. One of the possible spawn locations is right here. This is right across from the hidden secret room. Another spawn location is the area that we just did it at over here. We have another potential spawn location right over here in the alleyway. Another one in between the bar and the alleyway being right here. If you head this direction from spawn, we have another location right over here in this corner. And then for the final location, we have one right here, right across from Speed Cola on the rooftop. Placing the third fully charged canister in this, from here we've got to get three parts to be able to upgrade Klaus. I'm going to show you where to go. For this part, you need to have the Wonder Weapon for all three of them. For the first part, head to Ghost Station, head right across from Mule Kick. You're going to see this little green glowing box here. If you shoot it with the Wonder Weapon, this part's going to pop out. Now for the second part, we're going to head into the electronic store right across from the bar, and we're going to look for three radios. One of these radios is going to drop another part. So that one didn't have it. This one did have it. So just look for radios that look like, oh, we're going to go down. Look for radios that look like that in here, and you're going to see another part, pick it up, and that is the second part needed. For the third and final part, you're going to head back to spawn. You're going to see this tower here. Shoot the tower. It's going to fall over and drop the third and final piece. Now that we've gathered all those parts, we need to go ahead and upgrade Klaus. To do that, we need to enter this room. You have to interact with this machine first to add the microwavable dish, and once you've done that, you're going to wait for this to turn green. How you get this little thing up here to turn green is once Klaus has obtained enough kills, you're going to be able to upgrade him. So if in your game, this is still red, keep on calling in Klaus, letting him get kills until this turns green there's a place right up top on the roof here that you can use to call him in it's this little yellow box right here once it's green you want to signal him to get in the machine just by kind of clicking the little button right here he's gonna get in it now you're gonna have to do a defend wave for about a minute before i do this step i always make sure i have my field upgrade charged that way i'm able to just use it that way i don't fail this step and there we go now that it's done we're gonna have an upgraded klaus he's now gonna have a pack a punched weapon after this step you gotta wait for klaus to cool down so when he's back in his chair you're gonna go up to him and you can now give him the hacking helm this is going to allow him to stop the train. Now we want to call back in Klaus and head towards the train station. What we're going to do is head over here and actually tell him to get on this set of tracks over here across from the mule kick machine. Once you've kind of directed him to go over there, you're going to flip the switch track switch and make sure he's on this track and he's going to stop the train. So here we go. The special train is going to come in. Klaus is going to stop it. Now you're going to be able to go in and grab the warhead, which we need for the next step. It's going to be located right here. While in the train, you also need to make sure you pick up the key card right here. Now we head back into the secret room and place the warhead here. For the next step, we're going to head back into the room with Klaus and we're going to sit here and continuously press F to interact on this computer until eventually it stops letting us do so. Eventually, it's going to say activate satellite. And once you activate the satellite, you're now going to head upstairs. Be very careful with this step because this is one of the hardest steps in the entire Easter egg and it's going to be timed. You have a five minute limit. And if you don't do it within those five minutes, you fail the Easter egg in the entire game and have to start over. 
From this beam of light, you're going to have a Megaton spawn in. The main goal here is to kill and split the Megaton, which is going to drop two rocks. Now, once that's done, you're going to want to pick it up and it is going to damage you. So you want to make sure you look at your health, drop it if need to. You want to come to this crafting table right here and start building it. Once it's built, you're going to pick it up and we're going to head back towards spawn. The first one we're going to place up on top of this building here, and then we're going to have to repeat the same step again and get another one of these and go to the other side and place it on the other zip line over there. All right, here we go, picking up the second piece right here. Once again, just like the other one, this one's going to damage you as well. You can take it right to the same crafting table, build it into another one of these things, and now we're going to head to the opposite side of that zip line and place it. And here we go, placing it on the zip line. Once you do so, they're going to crash in the middle, and it's going to drop a little green thing for you to go down here and pick up. Now, once you pick it up, it's still going to damage you. We're going to take it down to the secret room that we opened up earlier, place it right here where we've been placing all the other parts, now we're going to have to do the same thing again. However, you have to wait one round. You're not able to activate the satellite again until we progress around. So whatever round you're on, play the entirety of it. And we're essentially going to repeat that entire step once more. All right, now the next round started, you can either go back to the other terminal you used before, or we can do this one up here. Now this time the Megaton's actually going to spawn on this building here. However, if you just wait a second, the Megaton's going to teleport down to you in this area. You can kill him down here. That way it's a little bit easier to craft. However, if the Megaton doesn't end up teleporting to you down here, you can go up there, but just keep in mind, you're going to have to go all the way up there, grab the crystals and bring them down here. I usually just wait till he teleports down here. Now, using the stones that this Megaton drops complete the exact same zipline step that we just did. However, this time when you take the stone that's dropped from that zipline step and you take it back to the secret room and place it, the boss fight's going to begin. So make sure before you do this step, you kind of get everything ready and you're ready to go to the boss fight. This boss fight's not very hard. It's just a little time consuming. Usually I just make sure I've got my perks and my wonder weapon at least second or third pack. And that's really all you need to do this boss fight. Now, when fighting the boss, there's a few different things you need to look out for. One, she's going to have this blue shield and you can't actually deal any any damage until you completely taken down the shield however every single time she does any sort of action or attack her shield is going to completely recharge so this is something you're gonna to have to take down many many times during the boss fight now the first attack that the boss has is the golden shower attack she's going to target one player at a time with this and she's going to rain down crystals if she's targeting you just get behind cover and you'll be fine now the second attack she has is by far her most deadly attack she's gonna get two balls of energy in her hand you're gonna get a little effect on your screen and after a few seconds you're gonna get this big effect and anyone that's in her sight is gonna go instantly down as soon as you see this happening you need to get behind cover where you can't currently see her and that's really the only way to stop you from going down and you can easily have your entire run ruined by this if every one of your teams out in the open kind of where she can see you she'll down all of the players in one quick action and the third one here really is an attack. It's more of like a healing action. She's going to summon zombies out of the ground and they're going to surround her. You need to take these zombies down as quick as possible because every second they're there, they're going to be healing her and she can heal really quickly doing this. So you need to make sure everyone on your team is on the lookout for this. That way you can stop her from generating a lot of health back because she does take a lot of time to take down. If she's constantly getting more and more health back, this boss fight is going to take a very long time. Now, as soon as you deal enough damage, she's going to teleport to a different location. She's going to do this about five or six times until she lands in the original spot that you started at. And this is where you're finally going to be able to take her down. Once you take her down, there's going to be a quick cutscene. After the cutscene, you're going to have to escort Klaus into the portal itself. This step's really easy. All you got to do is throw like one Gersh device and it's going to kill the zombies. Even if you don't have a Gersh device, this step's pretty easy and you should be able to finish it regardless. Once you've escorted them all the way through, the final cutscene is going to play. You're going to get the challenge and all the unlocks and you have now completed the Easter egg for this map. Overall, I really like the Easter egg on this map. It's probably my favorite Easter egg we've done so far. That's a round based mode Easter egg. I think personally, I still like the Legion one more. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you want to see more Mauer Toten guides like this or anything zombies related, make sure you sub and follow the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.